Get ready to update your watch list. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 anticipated new fall shows of 2018. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at new series set to debut in fall 2018 that have the potential to become our newest TV obsessions. Number 10. All American The CW has become overpopulated with superheroes as of late, but All American takes the network back to its teen drama roots. This series derives inspiration from real-life football linebacker Spencer Pacinger. Portrayed as a rising football star full of potential, Spencer is torn between accepting an offer at Beverly Hills High or staying at a school in South LA. Beverly Hills can offer you something that Crenshaw can't. Better education at a safer school. As Spencer attempts to deal with these changes, he finds himself caught in the middle of two clashing worlds with social tensions on the rise. You say you play because you're angry. I'm nice to play for something bigger now. Calling One Tree Hill, The OC, and Friday Night Lights to mind, All American could score big points in the ratings with strong themes of family, community, and football. If you can make something of yourself, maybe someday I can too. Number 9. Schooled The Goldbergs is easily one of the most underrated sitcoms currently on TV brilliantly satirizing and paying homage to 80s culture. Oh, look at that little geek right there. Yeah, that's me, Adam Goldberg. Jumping from one nostalgic era to another, Schooled will serve as a spin-off set in the 1990s. Although ABC originally passed on the spin-off, it was given a second chance after the pilot was reworked as a special episode of The Goldbergs entitled 1990-something. Due to her commitment to NCIS Los Angeles, Nia Long will not reprise her role as Lucy Winston. However, the show will see the return of Tim Meadows as Principal Glascott, Brian Callen as Coach Meller, and AJ Mashaka as Barry's on-again, off-again girlfriend Lainey. 90s kids assemble. Toga, toga. No, don't, don't do that. Number 8. God Friended Me With a premise reminiscent of Joan of Arcadia, this series stars Brandon Michael Hall as a media personality who relishes in his atheism. I am your host, Mouse Finder, reminding you that there is no God and that is okay. He begins to see the world in a different light, however, upon receiving a friend request from God on Facebook. Although he initially writes this off as a joke, several events lead him to believe that perhaps a higher power is at work in the clouds above. You're telling them that God is watching over us? You know better than anyone that's not true. You don't think that what happened made me question my faith? It's often questioned what role religion serves in today's world as many lose their faith and debate the very existence of God. No matter where you stand on the subject, God Friended Me has the makings of an uplifting drama with an intriguing, overarching mystery. People say that God has a plan for all of us. Well, I never believed that to be true. But then he friended me and it kind of turned my life upside down. Number 7. A Million Little Things Featuring a slew of recognizable character actors like David Gentoli, Romney Malko, and Allison Miller, just to name a few, this drama centers on a group of friends who have their worlds turned upside down when Ron Livingston's John commits suicide. Realizing just how precious and unpredictable life can be, the gang attempts to navigate through this death while also striving to meet their own resolutions. John, you say everything happens for a reason. I can't find a reason for this. The show has already drawn comparisons to This Is Us with its large ensemble cast and tear-jerking setup. If you hadn't called to tell me about John, I would be dead right now. However, where that show put an emphasis on family, a million little things will explore the importance of friendship and trying to find a silver lining in tragedy. Friendship is being able to have the hard conversations and being willing to listen. It's a million little things. Number 6. Single Parents oh, Hi, my name is Will Cooper, your room parent. Oh no, oh this is bad. New Girl creator Elizabeth Merriweather reteams with writer-producer J.J. Philbin for this comedy, which explores how single parents balance raising their children with having independent lives. We're single parents. We don't volunteer, we just try and survive until a time in the day when it's appropriate to open wine. Taryn Killam of SNL plays Will, a super enthusiastic single father who finds he may need to dial it back a notch and tend to his own needs. He gets help from a group of several other singles, which includes Leighton Meester of Gossip Girl, Kimri Lewis of Scandal, and Brad Garrett of Everybody Loves Raymond. 
In an age where parenting has gone through some significant changes, single parents could join the ranks of Modern Family as one of ABC's most timely sitcoms. What's happening? Who are these people? They're my village. Oh, ruined it. Number five, Roswell, New Mexico. What are you still doing here? Got a hot for some local waitress. That's the rumor. Canceled after its third season, fans have been imploring the CW to resurrect Roswell for some time now. It took over 15 years, but the franchise will finally live on in this highly anticipated reimagining. Once again taking a page from the Roswell High books, the show stars Janine Mason as Liz, the daughter of undocumented immigrants. We're really sort of going back to the book and, and kind of starting from scratch a little bit. Um, so it's not a prequel, it's not a sequel, it's, it's a new iteration. Liz reconnects with Nathan Parsons' Max, an old acquaintance who's also having immigration problems. Turns out that Max is actually an alien who's been posing as a human at the local police department. Max's baby is an, is an alien. So am I. Since immigration is one of the most talked about subjects in the news right now, Roswell, New Mexico promises to be relevant as well as entertaining. So from now on, I'll just concentrate on being who I really am. Some of you might not like that. Some of you might even find that frightening. But that's not my problem anymore. Number four, I feel bad. Even in today's forward-thinking world, it's still heavily argued whether mothers should stay at home or juggle parenting with having a career. Mama's running off to work. Fancy career lady abandoning her kids. I am so sorry we can't afford a stranger to take care of you. In this sitcom, Sorry You Blue plays a mother who continues to work after giving birth much to the disapproval of her traditional mother. As she struggles with getting older, working with a younger demographic, and laying down the law with her kids, our protagonist finds that her life may never be perfect. But maybe that's all right. I'm sorry, I, I thought you were your mother. What? You remind me of her sometimes, just in how you look and sound and act and where you carry your weight. Created by Asim Batra and executive produced by Amy Poehler, I Feel Bad will likely resonate with any woman who's ever strived to have it all, showing them that they're not alone. It was pretty anti-feminist to refuse to lay the dignity of her choice to dance. Norman, I usually love discussing the finer points of feminism with you, but you're uh, stepping on a giant boob. Number three, Star Wars Resistance. Disney and Lucasfilm hit it out of the park with Star Wars Rebels, which helped bridge the gap between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope. We didn't fail, Hera. The series finale even left room open for more animated adventures following Return of the Jedi. Star Wars Resistance takes place slightly before The Force Awakens, as Resistance spy Kazuta Ziono sets out to learn more about the First Order. It will be titled Star Wars Resistance, and it premieres this fall, which is way earlier than I ever would have expected. In addition to new characters, the series will also feature guest appearances from BB-8, Poe Dameron, and Captain Phasma. Dave Filoni is returning to helm this series, which was reportedly influenced by anime. Perhaps we can expect something akin to Avatar The Last Airbender, which Filoni also worked on. Between Rebels and The Clone Wars, I think both animated series have some can't-miss Star Wars moments in them, not just for animation, but all of Star Wars, so I'm willing to bet that Star Wars Resistance will too. Number 2. Murphy Brown if you've never seen this iconic sitcom, that might be because it's been made widely unavailable in recent years, due in part to costly music rights and underwhelming DVD sales. Back in the day, however, Murphy Brown was one of television's most topical comedies, taking on issues that are still very much in the news today. For your information tonight, Frank Fontana exposes new chemical dumping in the Niagara River while Corky Sherwood reports on the darker side of liposuction. This revival will not only see the return of Candace Bergen as Murphy, but Faith Ford, Grant Shod, and Joe Rigalbuto as well. The old FYI gang is ready to tackle everything from politics to the state of journalism. I didn't know what to do with myself. And then, we had an election. It would even be interesting if the show addressed the controversy surrounding another recently revived sitcom. Roseanne. So we had to do something. Get the old gang together. Take on this crazy new world of alternative facts and fake news. It's our civic duty. And besides, you missed us. Number 1. Manifest. 
Kind of like Lost without the island, Manifest centers on a group of airplane passengers and crew members who inexplicably land five years in the future. Excuse me, what exactly is the problem? The problem, ladies and gentlemen, is you've all been missing, presumed dead for five and a half years. During their absence, they were presumed dead, while the world kept turning. While adjusting to some major changes, those aboard Flight 828 embarked to solve the mystery of their disappearance. The universe just gave all of us a do-over. With a gripping setup like that, Manifest will probably either become the most buzzworthy drama on television or another high-concept show that fails to live up to the hype. We have faith in executive producer Robert Zemeckis, however, who seems to specialize in projects about time travel and plane flights gone wrong. Some people called it impossible, others called it a miracle. All I know is whatever force brought us all here had no interest in being investigated. This was just the beginning. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.